Welcome to Symbols and Secrets, a viewer's guide and reader's guide to The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown. And this is from a Masonic perspective. You know, the, the story here in The Lost Symbol has a lot of Masonic lore hidden inside of it. And this vlog is a chance to explore the differences between what's in the book, what's going to be on the new NBC Peacock streaming show, The Lost Symbol, and what happens in reality. Behind me is the House of the Temple of the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. This building is where a lot of the best action in this book takes place. And I'm guessing we're going to see some version of the House of the Temple in the television show. However, since it wasn't filmed here, we wanted to make sure you got an upfront look at what the actual building looks like. One of the key elements to Dan Brown's storytelling in The Lost Symbol is that there are symbols and there are secrets hidden in plain sight all over Washington, D.C. Where we are right now, just to give you an indication, about 10 blocks that way is the White House. And right here on 16th Street in Washington, D.C., the House of the Temple is a study in symbols hidden in plain sight. You might have your attention called to these two sphinxes. Traditionally, sphinxes are used as guardians of knowledge and of wisdom and of places that have knowledge and wisdom, libraries and things of that nature. This is carried over with the lions you see in front of many libraries. These two sphinxes, in fact, actually have names, wisdom and power. And if you take a quick glance, you'll notice that one has his eyes open and the other sphinx has his eyes closed. Wisdom has his eyes closed. He's looking inside himself for wisdom and power has his eyes open, looking out as a sentry. Now, those are two symbols, but they're not really hidden. They're, they're right out there and they might attract attention. There are a couple more symbols hidden in plain sight I want to point out to you. First, the massive stone columns here at the House of the Temple. There are 33 of them. These correspond to the 33 degrees found in Scottish Rite Freemasonry. And secondly, these stairs. Believe it or not, these stairs are laid out in a specific Masonic pattern. There are a set of three stairs, five, seven, and nine, which are numbers that are revered by Masons. As a casual passerby, you might suppose these columns were just the number they needed to hold up the building and the stairs was the amount they needed to get to the front door. But in fact, these are Masonic symbols hidden in plain sight. And this is the kind of thing we're going to explore right here on this vlog, Symbols and Secrets, a viewer's guide to Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol. So thanks for joining us. Don't forget to sign up below. And if you're watching on YouTube, click like and subscribe so you can be sure to get the next video, which will begin following the television show episode by episode as they're released.